Hey guys, welcome back to All Media Services. We're going to be doing uh, a Starlink video this time. We're going to be sharing the Starlink internet. So we actually have two residences and one has the Starlink already and they want to make the Starlink available for their second residence, which is about 400 feet away. So beautiful area. This is gorgeous out. We're not going to be dealing with too many trees, but we, we've got our, our one house down here and then we got another one kind of up in the background over there. So we're gonna be using an M2 booster for this particular one. We're gonna try this out in just one and we're gonna tie it into a router. And we're gonna see how it's gonna work, test out the speeds at the second residence. That's about 400 feet away. And uh, in order to do that, we've got to take the dish that's there now and we're gonna move it over to the other side of the house. We wanna to get to the east side of the house because that's where the other um, house is, is off to the east. We need to get as close as possible. Obviously, as much distance as we can close is going to be better for our signals to travel. So let's get to it. Okay, step one was uh, to move the Starlink and brought it over to the east side of the house as we're talking about. You see me set it up in the window. We're going to take this booster now. We've already connected the booster at this location, knowing that it works now. We can take it over to the house over there and see if we can get our signals. I'm gonna wait and see if it even picks it up at all. Well, full bars. So we're able to get the signals working. Before we do all the installation and stuff, we always run some tests on the equipment first before getting it installed. So it works. We've gotten about 20 megs inside the home with that M2, the local M2, connecting directly to it and then going into our routers. You can see our house there is about the 400 foot mark is what we're calling it today. Um, but that's hooking into a router in this house now, being able to give them the internet. So we're gonna remove that uh, larger satellite dish. <laughs> it's coming off and a uh, little Ubiquiti M2 is gonna go on there, we're gonna hook into their router and this house is gonna be fed and we'll show you the test out. Wait, come down, so just watch your head. Just on the outside, we've got the dish removed. We're just going to clip our ubiquity here. Now, the challenge, of course, is we got some trees. So this is the 2-4 to help get through. Um, uh, it gets further range, and it's also better for traveling through stuff. So, so this is not too bad for only having one. Now, I guess ideally it would be nice if we maybe ran some N5s point to point here to get even faster speeds, but compared to what they had before, this is gonna work really well. But when the leaves do come out on the trees, there is gonna be some degradation in signal. So we're gonna to have to watch closely uh, and potentially uh, uh, upgrade this. Um, but this gets the internet up and going pretty day. So this is, these things are really slick to set up. They're not too difficult at all. Um, we had a nice mount here already. It's gonna work. <laughs> Okay, and then this is just gonna go right into here. Clicks in, make sure you're quick. And then we can put the cover, cover on it. And then I'm gonna watch for the lights on the back side here. Eventually, once we get that plugged in, those are gonna light up and it's gonna tell us some of our signal as well as on the browser, we can go in and take a look too. Hey guys, so we finished the M2 booster it is put in place. Um, we've run some tests here. Uh, we've, we're ending up with about a 42 um, as our speed to the device. Uh, the, the overall internet speed is at 135 megabits over at the house. So you can see we're running about a quarter of the speed, but we've also got 300 feet of distance and then we're run through a whole nother router that's sitting down here that is feeding this house with that 
35 megabits a signal. 35, 40, we've been running in those areas. Now, you can upgrade these to the M5s. Um, that'll definitely help pick up speed. We're actually going to take and put a second M2 on the other house. Um, this is working fine now, but we want to get it even better yet by putting the second one in. So that's going to be on our next video. But as for today, this option has worked fantastic. So if you have a, a second residence, um, you know, and you want to grab internet and feed that house, this is definitely a very good option. You can grab an M2 booster, has a long range, it'll hook up to a secondary router and feed a whole nother residence. So this is really great. If you guys have been enjoying these videos, make sure to give us a like and subscribe down below, as well as check out our website, www.starlinkcommunityforums.com. And then also, if you wanna see the next video with two M2 boosters, check our list and uh, enjoy.